Hey guys, Professor Prime here with MajinPlanet.com and today we're taking a look at the DX Boon Boomer Robo. This is the DX version from the new Super Sentai series. I'm super excited to be reviewing this. It's the first time I've actually done a review for a Super Sentai Robo for the most part at the beginning of the release of the Sentai. That being said, let's take a look at the packaging. We have the main robot here, which is also, if you've been watching the series, he's also one of the characters who turns into the trailer. And then this is the Blue Ranger and the Pink Rangers uh, Zord and it's it, it's got a lot of different pieces on it and interchangeable we'll take a look at it when we get to the figures but here we go we've got all the product shots there's there's what it looks like I'll bring it up here we got you know it's all in Japanese this is a really cool gimmick we'll get to we'll, we'll take a look at it I think it's an actually a pretty solid gimmick even though I do have some thoughts on articulation we'll get to that as well so let's go ahead and let's get it out of the box here all right guys here's everything we get in the box here we've got Blue Range vehicle we got the the Pink Rangers vehicle. We've got this little guy right here, which is uh, an accessory piece. We'll get to that here in a minute. And then here we've got the Red Rangers mech, which is also one of the characters and it's also the main body. So let's take a look at this guy first because these ones are pretty much not much to talk about. So first up, let's take a look at the paint on the figure. It is extremely extremely good paint exactly how the show looks i don't feel like there's any like lack of paint or stickers this wheel right here is actually a fake wheel where these this is the real wheel and this is the real wheel it does roll very good you guys can hear that it does roll really well one of the other cool gimmicks that this thing has is that you can place up to two I think maybe three cars the third car will probably be hanging off the side here but you can place the cars on top to, they kind of bounce around a little bit, but that's okay. Now let's go ahead and let's take a look at the first gimmick that this thing has. So how you want to get the, I guess the portal gateway opening, but basically what you want to do is you want to open up the front of the cab. And then essentially you just spread it. It just spreads it out. And it's kind of hard for me to show here on the camera because I don't have much of a space. But that's basically it, how it works. And we'll take a look at the individual vehicles here in a second, but you guys can see how it's kind of like doing this thing. So what you want to do, it kind of, it kind of, we're going to have to kind of, essentially you take the car and it attaches. There's a little port right here and there's a port right here and it just clicks in. Okay. And then this pushes, and then what you want to do is this pushes forward and that unlocks the attack mode and then it just pops right off. So there's the attack mode and then you retract it, take the pink ranger zord, mech, same thing, it attaches and then, and it, and it also. Now the only thing is that this piece, you have to actually bring it up all the way up. It only comes out a little bit, but again, we'll take a look at it here in a second. In order to get him into full robot mode, you want to come back here and you want to click these down. And then you want to take this like this and so that you can rotate that. So there's just the clearance. It's mainly just the clearance. You just want to click and then you want to lift it up. So then you bring it up just like this and it clicks together. And then before you do that, you want to take these pieces fold them down and just a couple clicks. Then you want to make sure this is locked in. You want to bring this down. This piece is gonna come up and down and then all the way down like this. And then this piece just kind of goes, locks in. And there you have the main character. This is a, so you take this piece right here. And ironically, this was a character. I saw him in episode two, so which is interesting. So you basically just fold this down and it's basically a head hat storage. You pick this head piece off and you just attach it. And there you go. Now you have the character. This is how he looks in the show. So let's go ahead and let's, oh, one last thing. You want to split these, these splits. They're like little, like, I had like rubber like flappies in the show. 
He does not have them in when he's in robot. When he's in character mode, he I don't think he has them. But either way, I think it's a really cool idea. You're also getting the main characters, you know, one of the characters. So let's take a look at the articulation of the character. And then I guess you want to, you, you get this piece right here, which folds up and it actually comes off. And I'm assuming this is coming off for a future combination, but you want to just bring that up and then that will give you more range. So you get basically full range of the arm. You get no elbow built, no elbow, no wrist. And really you get like it basically like a little port for a hand. That's basically all you get for the hand. And then for the legs, it looks like, it looks like you get a knee, but you don't. It actually comes off. If I can get it to pop off here. There we go, it pops off. Again, probably for a future combination. But here you can, you can move it up and then you can turn it like this. And you can plug it in. So now he has, now he technically has a knee bend. It doesn't, my copy doesn't hold in very well, but there we go. And then he has no feet articulation. Leg, it is on, it doesn't go. It, it, there's a, there's a, there's a, I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a little piece of plastic right there that stops it. You get forward and you get that much back because it gets, there's this piece right here that's hitting it. That's, that's it, that's it. So you get very, very limited uh, articulation because the transformation has no waste. It does have a little bit, again, you're more using these than an actual app crunch. Oh, and I forgot to take that piece off. Well, no, no, so let's, let's just leave that piece on because this, and then the head sculpt, he has no head movement whatsoever. You can kind of look up, you can kind of have him look up. It doesn't hold and that's it. That's, that's it for the articulation. And it's unfortunate because I know the last couple years, the mechs for Super Sentai have been super articulated. Like I know the Don Brothers one was super articulated. And then I did get King Oger and he is much as big as King Oger gets. He's, he has articulation. He loses a lot of it, the bigger, the more you combine him. But even base, the base bots, each base robo has pretty decent articulation. Where this thing has almost no articulation, it basically, you can't really pose him and anything dramatic, which is unfortunate. So let's take a look at the head sculpt. And that is the head sculpt with the character's mask on. It's painted, it's painted very nicely. And then we'll just pop that off. And then let's take a look at the, the face of the Robo and it looks cool. It, it's exactly like the show, it's cool. I mean, it's it's a nice little figure. It's more of a, just a stand on display piece. I almost, I almost want to display these more so in their vehicle modes than in the robot form. But yeah, there's the main body. So let's take a look at the two other Rangers mechs individually here. So here we have blue, and as you can see here, it's pretty pretty much just like the show. Now, from my understanding, the the Henshin device will also plug into this. So like they have like a little thing where they would just I don't have it yet. You can plug it in right here, and it does like it activates something. But otherwise than that, you know, it, it rolls. He rolls really well. I mean, it's a car. And let's take a look at the paint. It's, it's painted really nicely. It's it's a nice little car. It's not much of a mech. It's it's not really meant to be. But it's a really nice, it's a really nice car. I really I dig it. I can dig it. Next, we're gonna take a look at the Pink Rangers vehicle, her little uh, mech for Boom Boonger. And it's again similar to the Blue Rangers. It rolls just like the Blue. Rolls pretty well. It has a lot of decent paint. Same functionality. The Henshin device. It will plug in. It's pretty simple. Not much to talk about this this girl's car. One last thing I want to mention is that there is a port right back here that these actually, you plug the Henshin device into and it does interact with the mech. I think that's really a cool, instead of giving this, you know, like bulking this up with electronics, they actually just put this little bar, like this little bar reader here, like the plastic in, and it'll read it that way. So I thought that was really, really cool. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at the transformation of how these all attach. So first you take blue and it plugs in the same way you plug you plug it in right here and it should plug in but basically you want to you guys are going to show you here so you got the port right here and you want to take it and it just slides in and then you close these so that's the first 
and do the same thing with pink. Yeah, you can see it's kind of hard to see on camera, but you can see right there, it's got grooves and that's for the morpher. And then just like that. And there you go. You have Boom Ownger's Robo combined and it's okay. It's, it's, it's a cool, I understand that the gimmick they're going with this year, they decided to go a safer route, both with the Sentai and with the mech. I understand that. I'm completely fine with it. It can, you can get some pretty, you know, decent poses out of it. Like, I mean, you can't get much out of the head, but you know, you can get the arm movement. You know, if you get just kind of move things out of the way, you can get like, you know, forward slash. This piece right here is a little wobbly. I found it's a little wobbly, you know, so it's it's fine. But like I said, it's it's pretty much, I feel like, and then there's there's a port right here as well, which you can just slide her off and then she will click in on the side. So I'm assuming we've got some cars that will probably fold up and attach here. So there's that. And I think that's about it in terms of like features that I was able to find. It doesn't have any, oh, and that popped off. And these do pop off too. So, you know, you can also have them to the side. So the cars can be on the side as well. I think that's cool. We're still early. We haven't even gotten any of the extra auxiliary zords yet. Or, or I think we've got, we've got red. We got, I, which I got as a promotion. I got like basically paid shipping for it. And I'll be getting the red, um, red classic, I think it's called, which is basically becomes a sword. So I think it was really cool. And that's basically it guys. I, I think it's a decent, I think it's decent. Final thoughts guys. Uh, the show is again, decent. If you're interested in watching me react to it, I am reacting to it currently every week on my planet TV react. Uh, link for that will be in the descriptions down below. As for the Mecha, the toy, it's great. It's great in a sense that it's it's affordable and I got that from, and from Japan. So, I mean, that's, you have to remember that if I got it here in America, it'd probably cost me like 65, whereas I got it basically imported in from Japan. So, you know, you're paying that import fees and all that stuff. So, and I know a couple other people who've done reviews on this guy have talked about, like I know Emgo did a review already on him and he talked about the being spoiled with King Oger and Don Brothers mechs being super articulative. And then now we're going back to basically basic super sentai mech and i understand how that can be frustrating to some people there are the the gumpla versions of these figures uh, i didn't know i think it's like Mim mimpla i think is what they're called I, I didn't know what those were because it's it's a new term for me I, i've never seen those before but basically they're they're model kits smaller versions of the mechs with more articulation but they still basically do the same functionality for the most part so i thought that was pretty cool and i might think about checking one of those out here eventually so uh, let's just uh uh, let's do some, some size comparisons so you guys get a sense of the scale. Here he is next to a mainline Voyager class figure from Age of Extinction. Here he is next to a leader class Revenge of the Fallen Studio series. And here he is with Big Load, a masterpiece third party, which I'll be doing a review on soon. As soon as I get, uh, I'll probably do it before I get the part replacement. Um, I did a short about it and I ended up, it ended up breaking dream transformation. So, oh yeah, there's Bumblebee. So there you go, guys. That is Boom Boonger Robo. My final thoughts of the figure. It's, it's a solid figure. It's basic for Super Sentai from Bandai, where you have the gimmicks, but you have a lot of sacrifice when it comes to articulation and posability. But for play value, it has a lot of play value with the gimmick of the car sliding through the like a kind of like a, like a rail. The trailer is kind of the trailer is definitely cool. I do like they also incorporated the second head sculpt, so you can also display him as just the guy. But yeah, guys, I really I really like this guy. I don't really have a spot for him to be displayed just yet. I don't know if I'm going to go far into buying the rest of the, the other mechs auxiliaries or other little features like it depends on how crazy it gets I, I don't know because it's all cars and from the gimmick of the two the two we've had so far in the one and the sword we're so early in the series nothing's I haven't looked in these spoilers for upcoming you know episodes or, or toys and if you guys enjoyed watching this video be sure to hit a like down below that tells me that you like watching the video and all that stuff here and if you enjoyed watching this video check out this one right here in the corner and as always guys until next time